This week I had somebody ask about the setup I'm using on my agency website to show off some of my portfolio work. Of course, I want people to be able to see the entire page, but having a giant long screenshot on the page just doesn't work well in the layout. So this little scrolling effect is a solution I came up with to be able to show off the entire image without taking up too much space. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can do this completely inside of the Generate Blocks Pro UI, and I'm also gonna show you a little snippet of CSS you can use to accomplish the same layout with virtually any builder on the market. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and dive in and get started. Okay, so we're gonna start this off by showing you how you can accomplish all of this inside the Generate Blocks Pro UI. You won't have to write any code to do this, so it makes it really nice and simple if you are using Generate Blocks Pro. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is just add a container and an intersection, and we'll give ourselves just a little bit of space to work with. Now for this setup, I'm gonna do a two column layout, similar to what you saw in my example here, and we'll do some text on the right with the image over on the left. So I'm just gonna go in here and add a headline, and we'll add some website ipsum here underneath it, just so we can have some content to work with. Now on this left-hand side, we actually want this image to fill up 100% of the height of this column. So to do that, we'll go ahead and click on this column. We'll scroll down here to the sizing panel and we'll make the minimum height 100%. And if you type in a percent there, it changes this over here to percent. So now we can see this is taking up the full height. Now what we need to put in this section is the actual image we're gonna use. So what I'll do is just go to the adminbar.com and I'm gonna use Hoverify, which is a browser extension I use to capture a full page screenshot. Once that finishes, I'll save it. Obviously it's way too big. So I'm gonna use a website to actually scale this down. Of course, you can use Photoshop or whatever you'd like. Here on bulk resize photos, I'll choose images. I'll grab that screenshot that I just took and for the width of the image, I'm gonna change it down to something like 600 pixels. It really shouldn't be any bigger than that in any kind of setup for what I'm doing. And we'll hit start. And now it automatically downloaded that. You can see it went from 1.2 megabytes to 76 kilobytes. So that's definitely worth the extra step. We can go ahead and close that now and close the website. And here inside this container, we're actually gonna use the advanced backgrounds. So we're gonna to toggle that on and click the wrench icon and add a background. We'll choose image, and we're gonna leave the device on all, the state on normal, and I'm gonna change the target to self. Here under browse, I'm gonna to go to upload files, and I'm gonna upload the reduced file we just made through bulk resize photos. We'll go ahead and hit select, and you can see that image is showing in here now. But it's actually showing the center of the image, and what we need is the top of the image. So to do that, here under position, I'm gonna delete this out and I'm gonna put zero, zero. And this will be the very top of the image. The rest of the settings are fine, so we're good to go on that. Now what we need to do is add another background. We'll choose image. We'll leave the device on all, but this time we're gonna change the state to hover. Again, we'll change the target to self and we'll select that same image. Now, instead of it being at the top, we actually want it to be at the bottom. So for that, we'll do zero, then a space, and 100%. So now you can see when we hover over this image, it goes and shows the bottom of the image. Of course, that jerking from the top to the bottom isn't quite what we want. So we have one more thing we need to do, which is scroll down here to the effects panel, and under transition, we'll toggle that on. We'll click the wrench icon, and I'm gonna change the timing function to ease in out. And for this example, I'm gonna change this transition duration to four seconds. Now you'll have to play with this number a bit because this is gonna change how fast or slow this image scrolls, but that's really determined by how long your image is. So if you had a really, really long page, you might need more than four seconds. If you had a really short page, you might only need two seconds. But now we can see when we hover over this, it goes ahead and scrolls from the top to the bottom. And when we go off of it, it scrolls back to the top. We'll go ahead and hit close here publish this and take a look at the front end. And so just like that, we have this entire effect working using nothing but the UI here inside of Generate Blocks. But let's go ahead and show you how to do this if you're not using Generate Blocks Pro or if you're using really any page builder, the CSS that I'm gonna show you for this is really simple and it will work no matter what system you're using. 
I'll go ahead and just use the same setup here. I'll delete out the work we've already done with these backgrounds. Make sure to turn that off and we'll go to our effects and turn that transition off. So now we're back to just this blank container. So this time we're just gonna put an image in the background. I'll grab that same image. You can see it's showing in the center, but that's okay for now. Now we'll scroll down to advanced and under additional CSS classes, we'll call this image scroll. Now we can go ahead and hit update and refresh on the front end and you can see nothing's happening yet. This is because we just need to add some CSS to the customizer. So here I'll go ahead and hit customize and additional CSS. And now we'll start writing our CSS. So for this, we're gonna do dot image scroll, which is the class we gave it. And we're gonna say background position. And again, we'll just do zero space zero. And that will move this background image to the top of the image. Now we can do dot image hyphen scroll, and then we'll do colon hover. So this will target it when we're hovered on it. And we'll do background position zero 100%. Now we can see when we hover on it, it goes to the bottom of the image. Now we just need to add the transition. So we'll go back here to this first selector and we'll do transition, four seconds, ease in, out. Now we can see when we hover over this, it goes ahead and scrolls across that entire image. We can save our changes and take a look at the front end again. Hopefully you found this tip useful and it's something that you can use inside of one of your projects. If you do, make sure to leave a link down below so I can check it out. Here you can find a couple other Generate Blocks videos I've done recently. And if you're interested in joining us inside the Admin Bar community, you can join about 7,000 other WordPress professionals that are sharing tips and tricks like this on a daily basis. We'll see you inside the group.